Hello everybody, my name is Tony, and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. So today we have an hour of yoga together, and today's focus is going to be on stabilizing through the core of our body, especially kind of through the abdominal area, getting that, core, we've got a whole kind of corset of muscles around here that we're going to be strengthening and stabilizing. This helps us when we are doing pretty much anything, stabilize through the core and it improves our balance and our posture to mention just two things. So wherever you are, and you're welcome to start seated on a chair if that's more comfortable for you, settle into your seat and make accommodations for your body. It doesn't have to look a particular way. You can have your legs out in front of you. You can have them crossed underneath you. You can be sitting up on to something that often helps um, as we lift our hips to kind of ease things through, particularly our lower back. So um, you don't have to sit in a particular way. Rooting down into that support underneath you. Take a big breath in. And exhale as if you could kind of melt your body down into that support, just soften into it and really feel that support underneath you. You're welcome to even take your fingertips to the chair or the earth if that helps you. From there, this is where we kind of get into that corset of muscles. We're going to push down into that support and literally kind of as if you could push your bones down, if you could push your fingertips down. And from there, as if there was a cord from the very crown of your head, lifting from that support all the way up through the spine, up through the crown of the head. So we get this rooting to rise that I know that I go on about all the time, but it's the strength of the rise that we get from that rootedness. And as you do this, really consider lifting not only from your heart, but all the way as if I took a zip from your pubic bone all the way up through the center middle line of your body, through your spine, all the way up through the base of the skull to the crown of the head. Collarbones are wide, shoulders are soft and down. And you may notice if you come forward or back, so your shoulders, kind of balance more over your hips, how that feels for you. And most of the time we kind of lean forward in our life with everything we do, eating, reading, driving, um, watching TV, um, anything we're doing is more or less in the front line of our body. So consider drawing your shoulders back and you may already notice that you can find some um, activation in the front and the lower belly here. So if that's the case, please come to a place that you feel like it's sustainable because I don't need to be leaning back if you're already um, struggling to be there. So find a place, again, we're all different, all put together differently and our posture is different and our strength is different. So really making sure that you feel like you can sustain wherever it is that you're seated. We'll take a breath in. Exhale, soften through that, and you're welcome to close your eyes or lower your gaze or soften your gaze. And I want you to just go inside and notice how your body feels. Notice particularly from your lower ribs towards your pelvis how everything's feeling. And if there's a whole lot of tension that is building, if you can change up something, even slight movements, can feel a little easier. There's no right and wrong way to be here. It's working with your body today. Notice how you're feeling. Soften tension where you can find it. And again, that can be by the breath or simply moving and shifting your body. And then from there, we'll start to notice the breath, steady breath. And if it feels comfy to breathe in and out through your nose today, please go ahead. If it's not comfy to do that, no big deal. Consider a little more mindful inhale and exhale. A 
And what we want to do here is to stabilize the breath. So we stabilize the inhale all the way to the top and we stabilize the exhale from the top all the way down to the bottom. And the breath doesn't have to be perfect, we're not interested in perfect, but we just want to steady and again stabilize the breath. We stabilize the breath, we settle the nervous system and our body literally responds to that by relaxing and feeling more comfortable. Our body responds to that, our mind starts to get less active, there's all kind of, I'm not going to go into it, there's all kinds of great things that happen when we start to soothe that nervous system. And if this is your practice today, it's finding that rooting down to rise and finding that stable breath and that is perfect. The breath is always primary and the movement always comes after the breath. If we're not breathing, if we're holding our breath, there's, um, in yoga, there's little point in keeping up with the movement if the breath is not stable. So giving yourself permission here to really focus on that breath and move from there. Finding that rooting down. So we've got our stabilization underneath us and we're lifting from that stable breath. From here, rooting down to rise. And imagine you could just draw, not your belly button, but a little bit lower than your belly button. You can even take your two peace fingers to your belly button, slide them down a few centimeters. And then imagine that those fingertips are ice cubes and your skin your, on your lower belly is just drawing away from those fingers. You can probably still feel the pressure on your clothes. Uh, you're not digging the fingers in, but it's just resting gently. And then you're gonna draw the skin away, but that steady breath. And this is quite a practice to have. So we're gonna take a big breath in. Exhale, relax that activation. And come back to the steadiness of breath with that stabilization through the breath and through the rooting to rise. Again, piece fingers to the belly button, slide the fingers down a couple of centimeters, just resting your fingers on top of your clothes so the skin underneath can feel the fingers but you're not digging in. Stable breath, you're gonna keep that breath, you're gonna draw the skin away from those fingers like they just turn to ice stable breath. Mm -hmm. This activates the transverse abdominals. Now you've got three layers of muscles in the lower belly here and it is the underneath layer that are the transverse abdominals. Transverse because they go side to side, they're kind of like that corset um, and that's the postural muscle. So that's what we're going to be working with today. Steady breath, and we've got that activation in the lower belly. Now, if this is your first time or first few times practicing this, then it's a lot to think about at once. So release that at any time. Otherwise, rooting to rise, stable breath, and we've got the stable lower belly drawing in, but only in enough that we keep that stable breath. There's no point breathing in, holding the breath and staying there. Again, breath is primary. With that ice cube engagement or ice engagement, I'm gonna take the left fingertips to the chair, to the floor, and you can prop yourself up on a block if you have that handy to bring the floor to you. Right palm up, inhaling up, exhaling down. Stable underneath you, stable core as we reach up and we've got that ice cube engagement. Option to stay here or start to move from the shoulder. Using the left hand wherever it's supporting you, you can bring the right fingertips overhead, but we've still got that drawing in through the lower belly. And it might be a whole lot to think about because I've already given you um, way more to think about just by sitting here than normal. So 
again, more is not better here. Focus on what feels better for you. And if you need to let one or two things go, please do. This is a practice, meaning 1% theory, 99% practice. Option to stay here flowing. Now, because we've got that corset involved, option to stay here, keeping the right hands over towards the left, any amount, and that doesn't have to be, again, more is not better. Option to stay here, we've got that engagement through the belly, option to hover those left fingertips. And if that feels comfortable, and we've got the stable breath, we've got the stableness underneath us without that hand, option to take that left arm up like we've got a beach ball as big or as small as you like depending on what feels better in your shoulders and we're staying here for three breaths belly draws in rooting to rise still even though we're over to the left any numbness or tingling in the fingers please bend the elbows or take the hands down we've got a last breath here left hand comes down and the right hand comes down and we come back to center. Any tension, come to some softness. Rooting down to rise. We've got the stable breath in and out. And again, you can take into account whichever or as many of these as you like. So we're rooting to rise, stable breath, ice cube engagement stable breath right fingertips down left palm comes up inhaling and exhaling and again just keeping the stability underneath you the rooting to rise the stable breath and that ice cube engagement is a lot let alone adding movement option to draw up from the shoulder and again working with your body today not against it. If you need to bring those fingertips overhead because that feels good, please do. That right hand can support you. Again, take a block or a stack of books or you can take hold of the chair. See how stable you feel here. And if coming way over to the right allows you to feel less stable, then please do less. Option to flow. Option, next time the fingertips come over, to stay. Option to hover that hand. And we're breathing, stable breath. We've got that ice cube engagement. And you can play with taking the right arm up to join you, but we're rooting to rise. Stability with the breath. Stability through, we're warming up the transverse abdominals here. One more breath, more or less. And on that exhale, right hand comes down and we inhale back to center, rolling through the shoulders and back in the opposite direction. Take a breath in, exhale it out, softening, softening through the belly, noticing how you feel. From here, if you want to stay seated in your chair doing seated cat and cow, please go ahead. Otherwise, let's come over onto hands and knees. And if you need a padded blanket or a folded towel underneath your knees for support, go ahead. And forearms are always there for those of you who um, prefer not to be on your wrists. Spreading yourself as wide as feels comfortable here. Tucking. Um, or untucking the toes, your choice, but the hands are at least as wide as the shoulders here. From here, push into the hands, lift the back of the heart up. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So we're really using that foundation to rise through the shoulder blades. And then belly draws into the spine, just very much like we've been doing, gaze towards the top of your mat. Steady, stable breath. Cat and cow here. So on the next exhale, push into your foundation, roll the back of the ribs up towards the sky. Maybe the gaze comes down or towards your legs. That's the exhale. Inhale, extension through the spine. So we've got that little arch. 
Sit bones rise, collarbones widen, and the gaze lifts. So working with your breath. And from here, see if you can take the engagement from the belly. So that exhale, we're really drawing in through the belly, almost pushing all the air out as we raise the back ribs towards the sky. Inhaling, filling with air. Stable foundation underneath us and stable breath. And we've got that awareness to the deep core of our body. Beautiful. From here, coming back to neutral after your next exhale, unless you wanna stay for longer. And then option to bring the knees closer and towards each other to find a little more stability here. Right leg comes back behind you. Toes to the floor. Pat the left knee if you want to, and you can even double over that mat or take a padded towel underneath it or washcloth, and we're rocking forward and back. Same thing here. So we've still got the belly drawing in, back of the heart is lifting and the gaze is forward to stabilize through the belly. Option to stay here. Option to take those shoulders over the wrists and stay. Now this is an excellent place to be building up strength through the core of the body. We keep the pelvis neutral. Option to hover the uh, toes off the floor. That's the inhale. Exhale, slowly tapping them down. So from here, the stabilization really is coming from the core and the pelvis. And we're not concerned how high that heel lifts. In fact, the on top of the height would be the hip and no more. If we take it further up, then the elbows bend and we over arch through the back. So we really want to keep that stability through the core of the body. Now the pull here is coming from the upper inner right thigh. Imagine as if you've got a kind of puppet strings coming up from that inner right thigh there. Option to stay here, option to lift the heel any amount and stay. Push through the hands to lift the back of the heart. We've still got the stability in the breath, stability in the pelvis and the belly. Option to add on, lift through the left arm. And we're reaching through the right heel, through the left fingertips and stabilizing through the trunk. You've got three breaths here. Option to take the toes down, to take that left hand down at any time. Stabilize through the breath, last breath here. And on that exhale, left hand down, right knee down. And from there, we're just gonna circle through the hips, coming over to one side and to the other. And we'll take that round in the opposite direction when you're ready. Allowing that movement to be free in your body. And we're coming to the other side. And again, for those of you who do not like um, that much pressure on your um, wrists, you can always come down to forearms. Whatever your foundation, we spread through the fingers, lift through the back of the heart, and the belly draws in with that stable breath. Left foot comes back behind you. Pad that right knee any amount that you need to. And we're inhaling and exhaling. Now as you're doing this, notice what's happening through your torso, especially the pelvis. And notice if you're opening up through the hips, keeping the hip tips or those headlights of the hips facing the mat at all times. Option to stay here, option to come to stillness. And this may be enough for some of you. Great place to be, really feeling maybe like you could one day pick up those toes and keep the pelvis neutral. 
For those of you who would like to try, inhaling, lifting up through the left toes, exhaling down. And once again, the pull here is coming from the upper inner left thigh. So we're not opening out through the left hip. The pelvis really is neutral. You can take a flex in that left ankle if you like. That sometimes gives us more stability. Option, lifting and lowering. Option to lift the heel and stay. Stable breath. Option to extend the right arm out about shoulder level. We're lifting up through the right armpit though and we're extending through the left heel through the right fingertips. Three stable breaths. Always resting if you need to. Otherwise one more breath, more or less. And on that exhale, right hand comes down, left knee, and we're circling in one direction. Mm -hmm. And back in the opposite direction. From here, coming to child's pose, just briefly, Knees as wide as you like, big toes towards each other. If you need to support yourself under your seat with a pillow or a little towel or a bolster, please do a, go ahead. Support it on your hands, your forearms, stacked fists, stacked palms. Knees can be as close together or as wide as you like in stillness, or you can rock from side to side depending on how your joints feel. Come back to the stability of the breath. From here, coming back onto hands and knees, and we're gonna stabilize through the core even more. So this time we tuck the toes. This is downward facing dog prep. So those of you who don't want to do downward facing dog, no big deal, you can do the prep, and then I'll add on from there. So, toes are tucked, feet at a comfortable distance, and the hands are at least shoulder distance apart. Push into the hands, lift the back of the heart, and the belly draws in just like that ice cube engagement. We've got stability in the breath. And then on the inhale, pushing into your hands and toes, we're hovering the knees on the inhale, Exhale, taking the knees down. And it literally is hovering, so we're not going up very high. If you want to, you can lift up through one knee and then the other to start to build strength. Otherwise, hovering on the inhale, exhaling down. And as you do this, feel free to close your eyes or soften your gaze and notice all the muscles that are activating for that to happen, especially around the belly. Option to pulse. Option on an inhale to hover the um, knees. Three breaths. Stable and steady. And on that last exhale, we're taking the knees all the way down. Nice, you can continue to do any of that or we're taking the hands one palm's distance in front of the shoulders. Keep those toes tucked on an inhale. Push into the hands and toes, knees bent, taking the hips up to the sky. That's the inhale. Exhale, pulsing down, keeping the knees down on the exhale. You can pulse up and down with your breath. Once again, lower belly is activated and the breath is steady or coming all the way up and staying. From here, bending one knee, straightening through the opposite leg, whether the heel comes to the floor or not is irrelevant. Notice how the hips sway from side to side here as you're doing that, walking out your dog. Option to stay. Option to lift both heels on an exhale, 
lower the heels towards the floor, they may not ever get there. Push through the hands, belly draws in, and we're steady on the breath here. Inhaling and exhaling. We've got one more breath. And then when you're ready, coming all the way down. And wherever you were, big toes come towards each other. We've got a child's pose or supported child's pose for a few breaths. Come back to that steadiness of breath, inhaling and exhaling. You can stay here for as long as you like. Those of you who would like to come up to stabilize through the trunk as we're coming up, take the next few breaths to tuck those toes, walk the hands back towards the knees, and in your own time, I'll meet you standing. Mountain pose. Comfortable distance apart with our feet, rooting down, very much like we did, seated, rooting down to rise, lifting up through the crown of your head, shoulders soft, collarbones wide. Steady the breath, so we have that really stable breath in and out. From here, that ice cube engagement, and you might start to notice how the transverse abdominals start to engage. You might even feel it like a corset all the way around. You may, you may not. Stabilize the breath. Great place to be. Hands come to the front of your legs. On an inhale, I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see me. We're just simply rocking forward. Um, ice cube engagement. On the exhale, we're coming back. Inhaling and exhaling. And this might be enough. Fixing your gaze somewhere at eye height is going to help. If you want to add on, keeping that engagement through the torso, on the inhale, we're going to hover from the heels. And on the exhale, we're going to take the weight back into the heels. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Now we're not concerned about how high those heels come, but we do want the steadiness of the movement. And again, imagine that midline of the body, everything drawing towards it, belly's drawing in. On that inhale, we're literally rooting down through the balls of the feet to rise. And on that exhale, it's that connection down to the floor. Adding on with the arms. Inhale, the arms come up exhaling down. That may be more challenging or it may be easier for you. You get to play around and see. Now those arms can come as high as you like, but don't let the arms distract you from the work that's really happening from the core of the body. Keeping the breath as stable as you can while keeping your body stable as you start to bring balance into it. Option to keep pulsing up and down. Last option is on that inhale, we stay three breaths. Ice cube engagement, rooting from the balls of the feet to rise from there. Stable breath. On that next exhale, down we come. Nicely done. Any release of tension, go ahead. And we're going to come from here. I'm going to stay to the side. Keep the feet rooted. Still, we've got that ice cube engagement and steady breath. This is the inhale. On the exhale, we're going to sit the hips back, bend through the knees, take the hands to the thighs for support. Inhaling and exhaling. We've still got that engagement. If you want to add on, as we come down on the exhale, the hands come out and that'll help 
with the weight distribution to bring your hips back maybe a little more. Inhaling and exhaling. Now we're not, again, concerned about how far you go down, but we do want the stability of the movement, the stability of the breath, and that full engagement all the way around that lower abdominal region. Option to pulse. Option, next time we come down to stay, three breaths. Stabilize the breath, stabilize the body, and we still have that drawing in through the lower belly. Last exhale. Inhale, push through the feet, and up we come. From there, anything that feels easeful for you. I'm going to put those two together. So, coming back. Hands on the front of the thighs, inhaling. On the exhale, we're coming down to our seat, modified chair pose. Inhaling and exhaling, great place to be. Adding on from here, next time we come down, we stay. Stable breath, we've got the drawing in through the belly. Could probably stay here all day, maybe not. From here, adding on, lifting up through the heels. Now we really have to work hard here, pushing down into the feet, drawing everything towards each other, and especially that core engagement. Maybe the hips come back even further, maybe they don't, you've got three breaths. Any wobbling, that's normal. Do your best to stabilize everything. Next exhale, heels come down, push into the feet, and up we come. Anything you need here, maybe hula hooping through the hips, and back in the opposite direction. Mountain pose, hand to belly, hand to heart, stabilize the breath. The breath is that thing that, again, it has a direct correlation to our central nervous system. So any elevated heart rate, settle the breath, and the heart rate starts to reduce. The stress response starts to settle. Okay, from here, we're gonna be drawing on that stabilization. So hands are gonna to come to the hips here. If you need a countertop or a chair close by, Please go ahead and do that. Feet at a comfortable hip distance for you. And again, that's going to be different for each of us. Now on an inhale, we're going to root into the left foot, lift the right heel. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, left heel lifts. Exhale, take it down. Start to go from side to side. Notice the shifting of weight. Mm -hmm. Great place to be right here. And again, if you need support, please take it. Coming right up, maybe onto those right tippy toes. Mm -hmm. Let the breath guide you. You don't have to match my breath. And it doesn't have to be every inhale and exhale. Just work with what feels good to you. From here, if you want to add on, we're lifting up through one foot. Mm -hmm. And again, countertops and chair backs are really great, or walls, of course. Everything's drawing in towards the midline. We've got that stability there. No momentum. So what I mean by momentum is that we're marching. Everything is slow. And it doesn't matter how high that foot comes. Even if you've got the toes on the floor, we want the stability. 
Now, as we walk, actually 60% of our walking is on one leg, which is why core stability is so important for our everyday movement. Next time, the right knee lifts, option to stay. Root down through the left foot, and we're drawing, we're rooting to rise, stabilizing the breath, and then we're drawing in through the belly. Doesn't matter how high or how low that foot comes, whatever's comfortable for you, we want the stability here. Option to stay here, hand to a countertop, anything you feel comfortable with. Right hand comes to the right thigh or knee, depending on the length of your bones. Stay here, stabilize through the hips. Option to take that right leg out towards the side. Again, you've got that countertop there if you need it. Stabilize, even with the leg out towards the side, we've got the belly engagement, that corset of muscles holding us here. Next, inhale back to center. Exhale, take the right leg down. You can give that left leg a little bit of a shake if you want. And then we're coming back to center. Your option, Lifting up through the heels, lifting up through with the toes on the floor, lifting up the feet a little or a lot, and maybe one side is very different. We're coming to the other side, so you can either turn around if you have support or take the chair to the other side. Again, very little momentum going on here. We're really using the core for the stabilization. Next time, the left heel, toe, foot lifts, option to stay. We're strengthening through the right leg, but the stabilization through the core is coming from the lower belly here. And that knee can come as high or as low as you like. Take breaks when you need to, but routine to rise stable breath, and that lower belly engagement. Option to take the left hand towards the left knee and keeping the hips facing forward, knee comes out towards the side. Stable breath, wobbles are fine, come out when you need to, otherwise three more breaths. Stabilizing the breath. Stabilizing the body, strengthening through that right ankle. Got one more breath here. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, knee comes in and down. Nicely done. You can roll through that left ankle and we're hula hooping. Back in the opposite direction. Beautifully done. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. Nicely done. And from there, you're going to come down to the earth and I'll meet you there. Here we are down on the earth. We're going to use that corset that we've been activating to add more stability from our back body. So, knees to the sky, feet to the floor. Take any softness you need to under your body. Adjust yourself so you feel comfy. So you might want to lift your hips up and lengthen your lower back. Arms can come down into any place that you feel comfy here. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out. Now the first movement here is very gentle. So we really want to settle the breath. Stable breath in and out. Taking your awareness all the way into your belly. I want you to consider your pelvis kind of like a clock. The tailbone to the furthest point away from you, away from um, where your um, tailbone or your coccyx is, that's going to be like six o'clock. And then just by your, um, the top of your pelvis, or for some of you, your, um, if your awareness is more in your lower back, that's going to be 12 o'clock. And what I want you to do is rock from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock. So 
the belly lifts up on the inhale and exhale. We're drawing the belly in towards the spine and you're gonna notice some pelvic tilts here. Maybe a big movement for you or a small movement, but what we want here is the control of the movement. So see if you can start to roll through the back of your pelvis. You can start to get, this is also your lower back getting involved. Maybe even your mid back, depending on how much is moving. But again, we're not worried about the size of the movement. We want the fluidity of the movement. And this is where we really get into activating that corset of muscles. Nice. Now, if that's rocking forward and back from 6 to 12 o'clock, we're going to come back to a neutral place to the mid point of that clock. And we're going to be going from left to right. And your knees will shift a little and you'll feel the pressure being more on one side of the pelvis than the other. And you might feel that this is like a weird movement to do. And again, we want the control of the movement. So see if you can slow it down going from side to side. It's not a very big movement. Nice. One side may be more challenging than the other, no big deal. Coming back to center when you're ready. From there, we're gonna come to 12 o'clock, so that's almost like tucking your tail. We're gonna go around in a circle from here. So all the way around the clock, in your direction, whichever direction you've chosen. And again, as if you could draw a perfect circle, or if you had a marble in your pelvis, you would be rolling it around in a perfect circle on the back of your pelvis. And we want the fluidity of the movement. Nice. And then we're going to pause and take it around in the opposite direction, which probably is a bit more challenging than the first side. Again, this is, it may not be a big movement, but there's a whole lot going on here in the core activation. Now, this is a great place to be right here. And if this is very challenging for you, I please ask you to stay here. For those of you who would like to add on, I'm going to take those knees up towards each other. Heels coming down by your seat will be easier. Taking the ankles up knee height um, will be more challenging. We're gonna do the same thing from here. So, six o'clock to 12 o'clock. A lot less stable here. And really make sure that the movement is coming from the hips. The knees will come along for the journey but make sure that you're not moving from the hips. It's actually the pelvic tilts that are doing the work here. And again, it doesn't have to be a big movement. Smaller is better as long as it's more controlled. And there's a big difference. You might want to play with the big difference between simply moving your knees and actually activating through that lower belly, which is what we've been doing kind of all class. Option to stay here. Option to roll from left to right. And again, the knees are gonna come along with you, but the pelvis and the core is where this is coming from. Mm -hmm. Last option is to roll that round in a circle one direction and it may feel way more challenging with the knees and we'll go around in the opposite direction and again those of you chosen to keep the feet on the floor fantastic building strength breath is easy one last one and if your knees were in you can rest them down on the floor give them a hug whichever feels better for you last option here so you can take your feet to the floor stay with the clock in the pelvis you can take the knees up or for those of you who would like to we can extend the legs up towards the sky and roll through those ankles a little legs do not have to be straight but the ankles and knees are in towards each other 
Now, because the legs are way up, so it's a whole lot more work through the core. So, 12 to 6. And again, notice if you're just moving the legs or if you're actually tilting the pelvis from the abdominal wall. Big difference. And if the breath has stopped or you're holding your breath or it's very challenging, please come down to a previous modification. From here, we're going from side to side. And again, this is coming from the core of the body here. It's not a very big movement. Option to stay here, option to take circles. And again, using the belly in particular to allow this to happen. It's very different to simply moving the feet around. As if you're drawing those circles on the back of your pelvis and the movement is coming from the strength of the lower abdominals round in the opposite direction. You can always take breaks, always come back to a previous modification. Mm -hmm. And then coming back to center, drawing the knees in, give yourself a little hug here. Nicely done. And from here, I'm going to bend that right knee in towards your belly. And I'm going to take the knee up towards the sky. Again, heel down towards your seat will be easier. Or flex that foot, take the heel knee height. This is the exhale on the inhale. We're extending the leg. Exhaling, bringing it back. Now, the further that knee is back over your belly, the easier it's going to be for you to control. So, if you want to challenge yourself, the knee stays over the hip and you can take your hand there as support so it doesn't come any further if you like. Or you can even keep that knee not coming quite into um, above your hip option to stay here. Now, the activation, once again, you're going to feel it in that lower belly. If this is already challenging for you, this is where you stay, taking breaks when you need to. If you want to add on, the left knee draws in. We've got way less stability here. Inhaling and exhaling. Keeping the belly drawn in. If it's puffing up towards the sky and you're overarching your back, Please take that left leg down for support. And if you want to add on the last bit here, keeping the hands up towards the sky like you're holding a basketball, and the last add-on as you extend the leg is extending the arms overhead, which is again adding more as we extend um, on both sides, we extend weight away from the core of the body. It's having to do more work. You've got another three breaths wherever you are. Again, any strain in the breath, if you're holding your breath, please do less. One more. Knee comes in, give it a hug, take that left foot down, and then the right foot comes down. Same thing, other side. Left knee comes in, give it a little hug, and then the arms go wide, shoulders are rooted here. Knee comes up towards the sky, and again, heel down or heel up, um, knee height. This is the exhale, on the inhale we're extending, exhaling back and you know the drill so if that knee comes in towards the belly it's going to be easier if the knee stays over the hip it's going to be more challenging and keeping that knee a little further away from you is going to keep that lower belly that corset of the transverse abdominals 
active for the whole time. Now it's not just the trans abdominals that are working here, so if you're feeling tension building in other areas and you need a break, please listen to that. Option to lift up through that right foot and that's going to add more tension. Inhaling and exhaling. Any breaks you need to take, please go ahead. Add on, we're taking the hands up towards the ceiling like we're holding a basketball or a beach ball above us. And that can be as wide or as big or as small as you like. And then we're getting less support from the upper body. Adding on from here, on that extension, we're taking the arms overhead and exhaling back to center. Steady and smooth with the breath. There's a whole lot going on here, so please pay attention to your breath, pay attention to your body. If your belly's popping up towards the sky as you extend, please do less. We really don't want to do more than our breath allows us and that our body is telling us. Another two, rest if you need to. And then we're taking that knee in, take that right knee down, give it a little hug. Mm -hmm. Feet come down to the floor and then from here, you have a few options. Getting into the hips a little, we're gonna send those legs up towards the sky. Option to cross the right leg on top of the left as far up towards the groin as you can, getting into the hips here. You can stay here or bend the knees, keeping the hands on the knees, drawing the knees down towards your belly. Now it's going to feel very constrictive here option depending on the length of your bones and your arms you can take the hands to either side of your shins and draw the feet in the opposite direction option depending on again the length of your bones you can take the opposite feet here drawing everything down and notice where you're feeling this probably in that outer right hip and maybe a few more places Stay with those steady, stable breaths, breathing into those sensations, softening through the belly as well as getting in through the hip here. Another couple of breaths. And then when you're ready, releasing that, left foot comes to the floor keeping the bind now if you have a favorite twist that you want to go into please take it any si joint issues then bound roots here with that leg crossed over is quite intense so you might want to take the knees and the ankles towards each other instead of crossed for those of you who would like to stay here we're going to lift the hips shift them to the right keeping that right shoulder down option to take the legs over towards the left Prop any amount underneath you or you can use your feet on the floor to support you at your own level. And again, this is getting into the right hip here. Take a few slow breaths here. Gaze can come to the opposite side. Inhaling and exhaling. Softening where you can find softness. Stay here for as long as you like. Or we'll take the gaze to center. Slowly bring the knees up to center. Shift the hips back to center. And if you have the bind, unbinding. Make sure that you feel stable here wherever you are. Legs are coming up towards the sky and that left leg is crossing over now on top of the right thigh, right up by your um, groin as close as you can get it. Great place to stay or simply bend the knees and give 
those um, upper legs a little hug in towards the belly and it's probably going to feel constricted. So stay at a place that feels comfy for you. You can take your hands to the shins, drawing the feet away from each other or depending on again the length of your bones, you can take those outer ankles, flexed feet here, keeping those knees safe and wherever you are, Notice where you're feeling this, breathe into those areas. Please do not stay here if it's not feeling good in your body. Giving that belly a little bit of softness here after all of that work. When you're ready, releasing that and taking that right foot to the floor option to take the twist that you want if you want to stay with bound root shifting the hips over towards the left any amount keeping the shoulders rooted especially that left shoulder and over the knees come towards the right so lifting up through that left side of the body the left hip staying for a few breaths here softening where you can and the left foot can support you here on the floor so you don't necessarily need a bolster if you don't have one. Keeping the breaths easy. Stay for as long as you like here. Or coming up to center, unbinding, taking your hips back to a place that feels central to you and drawing the belly or the knees in towards the belly give yourself a little rock and roll here anything that feels good to you and then from there coming into relaxation so you can be lying down on your back if you've got any lower back stuff going on knees towards each other ankles apart you can come on your side on your belly lie on a couch or on a bed that's close by anything that's more comfortable here it's not about enduring lying on the floor as you get settled i'm coming up to a seat and when you're ready just settling into that support underneath you whatever it is that you've chosen here Take a breath in, exhale it out. Mm -hmm. And take a few more breaths like that, allowing each breath to get softer and easier until your breath settles back to its own natural rhythm. Allowing your awareness to settle down into that lower belly. Breath is easy. Body releasing down into that support. Imagine right in that lower belly you have a balloon. And on the inhale that balloon expands and inflates just a little. And on the exhale that balloon deflates. So after all that um, awareness drawing in through the lower belly, we're now allowing that belly to soften and naturally expand with the breath and soften with every exhale. We're not forcing the breath anymore. We're not forcing the breath. The breath is your easy, natural rhythm. And just notice how your belly responds to the breath coming in and out.
every exhale, allowing yourself to release even deeper into the support underneath you. Staying here for as long as you like. Every exhale allowing you to soften and release more. Tune me out if you wish to stay longer. If you wish to finish your practice, start to just notice that support underneath you. Start to expand the breath in your own time, steady and smooth. And start to bring gentle movements into your body in your own way to awaken in your own time. ready and taking your time to come to a place where you would like to finish your practice. Settling into wherever it is you've chosen, rooting to rise. Hands into a gesture of closing that makes sense to you today. Big breath in. Exhale it out, drawing your chin down towards your chest, offering yourself thanks for this time that you've spent with yourself, for moving, for your attention. Take a breath of gratitude for everything that you are. From my heart to yours, thank you for practicing, thank you for moving, for breathing, for being here. Namaste.